Hi friends, this is Raja. Today we are going to talk about mirroring a volume group in, in an AX server. So for mirroring a volume group, you need to have minimum two disks per volume group. And uh, the main requirement is both the physical volumes should be of the same size. So let us now look at uh, the system. We are going to mirror the root volume group. And how many PVs we have? Two physical volumes. One is sketch disk zero, and the other one is sketch disk one. And right now the H disk zero belongs to root volume group. Let us look at the size. So H disk zero is around 16 GB. So we need to have another hard disk of size 16 GB at least so H disk 1 is also 16 GB so that's no problem we can do the mirroring um, so now we are going to add uh, H disk 1 into root volume group and then we are going to start the mirroring for adding a physical volume into a root volume group we have to use a command called extend VG then you mention the volume group name followed by the new PV name okay now you can see H disk 1 belongs to root VG right now LS VG space root VG it shows that we have two active PVs okay and total PV is 2 stale is 0 stale means uh, bad physical volume which is not accessible so we have right now two active PVs that means both the physical volumes are active they are functional and the total PP is 1084 that is around 34 GB of uh, uh, 34 GB total space uh, and uh, out of which 32 GB is uh, available so the used PPC is uh, 2 GB so before mirroring we are using 2 GB of space in HDS 0 when we do mirroring the same 2 GB of data will be copied to HDS 1 so you need to have 2 GB of free space in HDS 1 which we have by this way you can see what are the logical volumes uh, available in root volume group we have from H disk 5 to H disk HD oh sorry HD 5 to HD 10 OPT so this command will show you total PPS free PPS for each and every physical volume if it H disk 0 the total PP is 542 and free PP is 479 and for H disk 1 the total is 542 the free is 542 that means we have not used H disk 1 for storing any data so we are going to start a mirroring uh, of root volume group so the command is mirror VG space root VG space the PV where you want to put the mirror the data okay basically you can have three mirrors maximum but uh, people normally use only two mirrors uh, and uh, whenever you use mirror VG command by default it will create only the second copy I mean the second mirror if you want to have a third mirror then there is an option called dash C so after dash C you had to put the uh, put no, number 3 so it will create the third copy of uh, the existing data so now we are going to create the second copy of root volume group in H disk 1 so the command we use is mirror VG space root vg space h disk 1 this will take uh, 
quite some time depending on the uh, size of the existing data right now we have only 2 GB of data so it will it will be fast a little bit but when we go in a production environment we used to have like 20 30 GB of data in root volume group at the time it may take like 20 30 minutes depends upon the uh, the amount of data uh, and uh, the speed of the hard disk can can calculate it using the RPM revolutions per minute or those kind of stuff on the SCSI adapter and whenever you do it on a SAN adapter it will take quite a long time so it depends on a lot of factors like the amount of data and uh, the uh, speed of the disk the speed of the SCSI adapter or the fiber channel adapter so I think uh, hours will be done in another few minutes. Uh, I think the mirror VG operation is complete. You can see here Quarum recommend turned off reboot the system for this to take effect for root volume group. So whenever you do a mirror VG, the quorum requirement will be turned off, but you need to have a reboot to make this uh, to take uh, to take effect for this root volume group. And uh, it says uh, root volume group successfully mirror user should perform boss boot of the system to initialize boot records. Then user must modify boot list to include hdisk0 and hdisk1. Um, okay, this command mirror vg vg namespace pv name. This is enough when you do uh, mirroring on a data volume group. But when when you do mirroring on a root volume group, you have to do two more activities. The first one is you have to run a boss boot command to initialize boot records on both the boot disk. I mean hdisk0 and hdisk1. The second uh, thing which you have to do is to run boot list to include both your boot physical volumes in the boot list. So first we are going to do a boss boot oh I'm sorry so this command will recreate the boot image on hdisk0 basically it will create a boot image using the current kernel